So this is my video of techniques number five. And you'll see I've been sticking the service sheet from church into my journal because it's got the reading on it. And I find that really helpful. So thanks, St. James, for giving us the reading, which is our ready-made text in the journal for the week. So as you can see, I'm just edging this with a bit of washi tape. And then I'm going to start using acrylic. Now, acrylic for backgrounds is one of my most favourite techniques because you can get some really nice vibrant colour or some very soft toned colour quickly, effectively and easily. And you just don't need to worry about any skill doing this. It's incredibly therapeutic. So I've chosen some colours based on this sticky note, which is a lovely bouquet. And this is from the um, Holy Week kit, which is coming out later this week. And I've also got some washi tape from the kit that kind of coordinates with it. So I'm going to start off by writing the key Bible verse for me, the bit that really jumped out at me when I read this which was Jesus saying, my soul is troubled. So he's thinking about his death. And then he moves straight on, really, to saying, look, Father, glorify your name, because that is the most important thing. So in the midst of situations which are really troubling to the soul, and I guess I'm going through one of those with a friend of mine at the moment, and I'm really aware that, Ultimately, what I want is for God to glorify his name. I don't know how he's going to do that. So that's my prayer at the moment. Um, I believe in being very real and honest with God. And I'm saying, as Jesus was saying there, my soul is troubled. But my ultimate aim is, Father, glorify your name. You know, that's what I would like to see happening. So that's the bit that stood out for me. Now, there are lots of bits in this passage. It's very rich. And it may well be that a different bit stood out for you, which is great. So go with that. Right, I've got some acrylic paint here. You can see it's from Hobbycraft, not expensive. This is children's grade acrylic. And I've got some old cards here. This is my <laughs> Historic Scotland membership card. This is um, one of those store kind of loyalty scheme cards that I've chopped up. So I'm gonna use that because it's smaller and I'm just going to scrape a bit, squeeze a bit of acrylic onto it. So you'll see I've got it there just on the card and I'm going to have real fun just scraping it around the page. Now this is, as I say, cheap children's grade acrylic and you'll see it's quite thin. It's not giving me a very thick, vibrant colour and that's fine because I'm actually going for the slightly um, more muted colours in this one. Sometimes I'll use acrylic very vibrantly but... For me, this is about questioning. It's about grief and loss. It's about Jesus' death, which is, I think, um, as we come up to Holy Week, you know, however much we know the theology, it's perplexing that Jesus had to die in that way. I find it perplexing, particularly when I relate that to situations that I'm in with people I love. And you think about the Marys and the, the other disciples, and you think, what they must have been through so I'm very much kind of coming at it from that angle so I've got a bit of nice daffodil yellow on the page there and I'm going to add some of this metallic purple which is again from a children's range cheap acrylic paint I think you can sometimes get it for two pounds a bottle uh, or 250 you shouldn't have to pay ever more than that for one color and I'm just going to have fun you see, I've actually put quite a lot on that card and it's, it's glooping a bit, but that's fine. Just spreading it around here, filling in a few of the gaps. I also want to leave some gaps because I think I'm going to add some green as well. Now, I don't know about you, but I just find this really satisfying. I think it produces some nice look and uh, it's easy and fun to do. So I'm a big fan of this method. You'll see if you watch the Illustrated Faith videos that they do a lot of paint scraping like this. I'm just going to rub it off the text there so you can see. I don't want to obscure any of the verses. And then when you're done, if you've got a tiny bit extra on the card, just wipe it off with some tissue. And that's not really wasting much because there's hardly any on there. Now, by contrast, I've got some De La Rowney 
metallic green here and this is artist grade so this is expensive stuff from the art shop and I'm going to use some of this just so you can see the difference between this and the children's grade and I'm not convinced you need to spend a lot of money on this I do love this stuff but it's so much more expensive and it's not that much better but see what you think so that's it going on there and it is very very vibrant and it goes on beautifully smoothly just scraping it so that it's not covering over any of the text um, what I'm trying to create here is a kind of sense of spring colours, of hope for the future, purple for Lent, but also in here, and this pattern reflects it, there is a questioning and a kind of, is this just completely random that this difficult stuff is happening or what? You know, what is going on? And I like to reflect those kinds of questions in the way that I use the paint. So you can see how that's going on there. And it's very thin, so it's going to dry quite quickly, which is really helpful. And if it's not drying quickly enough, you just run the card over it and scrape the excess. And any minute now, this will be ready to write on. Now, if for some reason I'd found that that colour was all too strong and I wanted it even more muted, you can just add a bit of white on the top, so I'll show you how that looks. Um, this is kind of medium grade, sort of student grade, um, Crawford and black, white acrylic. So in terms of quality, this would be halfway in between the other two that I've used. And if you kind of, I'll just demonstrate it up there. If you scrape white over the top, it just starts to mute the colours even more. And I quite often put some very strong colours on the page and then decide they're too strong. And so I'll just pop some white over the top to mute it all down a bit. And this is, this is kind of me saying, Lord, I don't understand some of what's going on. I really don't. And there just is this kind of cloud or seeing through the glass darkly or whatever I'm not seeing clearly. And for me, the white over the colours is kind of symbolising that. So you can see how that's just muted it down a bit. hope you can see that OK. So now I'm ready to, to pray, to write, to put my thoughts around here, to go back to the passage and see if God's saying anything else to me. Um, I'm thinking I might use one of these sticky notes. I love these, this Easter bouquet spring bouquet using flowers that you know some of us do have in our gardens daffodils and uh, the odd sort of crocus like flower there and I'll probably pop that down there I don't know if you can see that a good thing about a sticky note is of course you can move it around I'm going to pop that there and I'll probably write my final prayer once I've done my meditation and written some other notes down there at the bottom and it will stand out nicely so acrylic paint, play with it, have fun with it, experiment. You can use the bright colours. I'm using the very um, um, muted ones here. I've also got some glitter here. It's a, this is glitter acrylic that I might spread over the top. In fact, I'll just do that now. That'll be a bit of fun. And for me, this glitter is signifying the light. You know, I'm praying for the light to come through this situation. This is purple, so I'm just going to put it over the purple blots. There we go. And when that's all dry, there'll be a nice sort of sparkle to this page with the metallic paint and also that glitter coming through. And for me, that's praying for light and saying, Lord, come in this troubling situation and glorify your name. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.